Welcome back to a brand new season of Non-Typical Nation. I'm your host, Brody Teal. Now our filming crew has been working their butts off this past year to capture some incredible content for you. Don't get me wrong, we've had a ton of fun doing it along the way. We're gonna be doing things a little bit different this season. What we're gonna do, we're gonna showcase our usual episodes as we always do, but the last four or five minutes of every episode, we're gonna have a bonus hunt. This season, we have over 25 different hunts to share with you guys. So be sure to set that PVR right now to non-typical nation so you don't miss a single episode. You can be sure that every single one will be action packed. Okay guys, let's kick it off. Right here, right now, I'm on the shores of Lesser Slave Lake. To the south of me is Dog Island, to the north of me is where we will be hunting today. Now, my goal was to harvest my first black bear from the ground at a bait. You know, I've got a ton before up in the tree stand, spot and stock, but I wanted to get one at the ground, right eye level with those bears and within about 10 or 15 yards. So that's exactly what we did. I hooked up with Primal Adventures and Outfitting. You know, he had some nice color phase bears on camera in previous years, so our goal was to get a color phase bear from the ground. But oh boy, we had a bit of work ahead of us. And uh, yeah, let's kick it off guys, enjoy. Well, here we are. It is April 14th today, and uh, we're going to fill up the baits for the first time this year. But look at all this snow. Absolutely unreal. Unreal. If you look at our bear episode from last season, you'll see this time last year there was no snow. And right now we still have about two feet. We put these barrels out here a couple weeks ago, and now it's time to fill them up. Um, you know, still a little bit early, just by judging how much snow there is. But uh, we're too excited. We want to get out there, get these filled up, so we are on top of these bears when they come out of the dens. And uh, we're going to be running three baits this year. My goal is to get a bear from the ground at the bait. We filmed a few episodes from a tree stand, so I want to do something different this year, try and get one from the ground. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun season, guys. So this is day one of our Alberta bear season. You ready, Eric? We're snowshoe ready. <laughs> We're snowshoe ready. There we go. Let's rock and roll. We're setting up right back there. We're going to have some cover behind us and we're just going to make a makeshift blind right now. Once the snow melts, it's gonna be a totally different area in here. Everything's gonna be different. So we're gonna to have to rebrush it in in a couple of weeks or even 10 days. Um, but uh, you know, just to get started, we picked out a spot. We're gonna get the bait filled up and, uh, and yeah, come back in 10 days, brush in the blind a little bit more and then hunt those bears from the ground. Non-Typical Nation is made possible by these great brands. Old Smokes Coffee, Crafted Coffee for the Courageous, T-Rex Knives, Indigenous Handcrafted Custom Knives, Tacticam, Share Your Hunt, APA Archery, We Are Not the Same, Badlands Canada, It's All in Your Approach, Reconico Outdoors, Smith Game Calls, Dave Booth Taxidermy, Black Widow Innovations, Antler Obsession, Kodiak LED Lighting. Special thanks to our supporting outfitters, Skinner Creek Hunts, Primal Outfitting, Battle River Cree Outdoors, Alberta Bush Adventures. This segment is brought to you by Tacticam. Share your hunt. Tacticam makes self-filming super easy. Push one button and you're filming in 4K. Okay guys, so we found where we're gonna be hunting these bears from the ground. We found some deadfall, we found our trees. We wrapped some burlap around it, screwed some deadfall to, uh, to our main trees, and we're gonna be hidden pretty good here. This gives the bear time 
to sort of get used to this. So we got it out here early. Action's gonna be picking up here in the next couple of weeks and uh, and it should be go time. Okay guys, it's go time. It is May 5th today and this is our first sit at the bear bait. Um, we are sitting at bait number one. The activity has been pretty consistent here the last couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be intense. We're heading in right now. Uh, we're going in heavy. We got a bunch of stuff we gotta bring in, but uh, we got about five hours to sit. So we will see you when we get to the stand. Okay guys, so we just got to the bait. The bears have been here since last night. They've eaten the beaver. And things are looking good. Guess who's here? Who? So that's what we got. I don't know if you can see that. So it's uh, probably about a four year old, five year old, sediment color, reddish, oranges, orangish bear. Right on, guys. Well, we're gonna wait now, so we'll see. He's pretty tall. This segment is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous.
for you than anybody else. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Big Dylan. And that's why I was sort of hesitant because you'd been watching this bear. I got guide blood, man. Yeah. I don't got. I don't have to pull the guys like you. <laughs> for me, just sitting here. Yeah. And watching your arrow go where it's supposed to go. Yeah. <clears throat> So, the bear was standing right here, right here, right around, you know, 16, 18 yards from our ground blind. And um, there's no blood here, but, oh yeah, there's our arrow right there. I thought it was So it was a full pass through, and there it is, still sticking out of the ground. Let's have a look at this broadhead. See the PX2. <laughs> Look at this, guys. See, we just arrowed this bear. And this broadhead is in perfect condition. I killed a moose with these PX2s last year. Uh, we killed several bears with these. And uh, this is why we use them. You can use this broadhead again. This is unreal. Anyways, let's go find this bear, guys. Another camera hung up. I love this camera. It texts the photos directly to my phone. It has an extremely long battery life. It's built for the harshest conditions and has a two-year warranty. Check out Reconico Outdoors today. There he is, guys. Right there. I am absolutely pumped. Thank you so much, Eric, man. I appreciate it big time. I really do. This is just stellar. Awesome. Okay, guys, here he is. Uh, you know, he died up in the, the thick stuff in there. It was really dark, so we got him out. We're losing light here shortly. But you know, this, you can really see his nice color. Um, this is without a doubt the lightest black bear I've ever harvested. And um, you know, just an absolutely phenomenal, incredible specimen. Um, he's got bruises on his nose. He's got scars all over the place. Um, and we haven't had any other bears regularly hit this bait while he's been around this year. So um, he more than likely was the king of the castle around here. And I couldn't have done it without you, man. I appreciate it big time. Awesome. I really do. Always, I really always do. there to watch somebody else pull the trigger. Yeah. And you know what, guys? He uh, he came in and uh, that first sit, like some guys don't like to, to release an arrow. Um, I was hesitant at first, and when I seen him, he's giving us, you know, you see the size of his body, the size of his head. And um, I told Eric, let's watch this bear for about 15 minutes. When he comes in and gives me the perfect shot, I'm gonna release an arrow. Um, you know, everything worked out just absolutely perfect today. And uh, what a way to start the 2020 black bear season. What a, what a start to the season, yeah. Yeah, no just other words. phenomenal. The, the PX2 drove right through him and uh, he went about 50 yards, toppled over, and that was that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. We greatly appreciate it. Um, now we're gonna get some great photos and get this bear skinned out, so. We got her, guys. And I'm hauling two prime early season bear quarters out of northern Alberta bush country where I would typically be guiding non-residents this year because of all the coronavirus pandemic stuff. Borders still closed. Primal Adventures is still offering bear hunts for the fall. And this spring we're just filling our time, helping friends, family, and just all around good people fill their bear tags. First one's down. Many more to go. Awesome, well I hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. You know, to get that target bear, that color phase bear, which was without a doubt one of the most beautiful bears I've ever harvested, to get it on the first day and from the ground was something I could have only dreamt of. 
thank you guys so much for watching that and like I said I hope you enjoyed it now we've got our bonus hunt on today's bonus hunt we have my brother Braden Teal he came up to harvest his first ever black bear you know he's filmed some hunts for me in the past but he's never got a bear of his own so that was our goal we only had a couple days but uh, yeah we had a little action check it out guys So what do you think? Good to go? Good to go, my friend. Okay, so we're all set up, ready to go. We filled the bait up. Looks like a bear was here either today or last night, so that's a good sign. We got the beaver hung and we are good to go. Pretty wet out here. Rain stopped, which is nice. Usually if it's been raining all day and then the rain quits, that's when they come out and feed. So we're gonna get hunkered down here and hopefully something comes in. Yeah, so uh, got a good shot on this bear and decided to uh, let it die down a little bit for about uh, 30 minutes and then started tracking. Spent about 30 minutes and walked right on past it. And then we got uh, Eric and Charlie out here and they gave us a hand and basically started back from where we first saw blood and, and, and tracked along the way. Came across a, a large pool of blood um, about 20 yards that way and just didn't see anything until Brody uh, stumbled upon this one. Uh, deep in the bush here about uh, 80 90 yards from where we originally shot it so very happy with it happy with the whole experience and uh, happy with this bear Man, Old Smokes, that is a great cup of coffee. And I really like the ambience in your shop here with all these wonderful racks on the wall. Yeah, we smoke roast these little buggers. We don't conventionally roast them like the other guy. We thought it bring the natural flavors. Come on, you guys. You're always talking about racks. You gotta check out my rack. I just picked this thing up this morning. How do you like them? Use code NONTYPICAL for 10% off your order today.